again, my fellow modelers. And so what I want to go over today is what I'm doing is this is the uh, um, SEAA build. And I already cut the trunk out. I'm starting to cut the doors out. And so I just want to go over how I do this. Um, I'm not an expert at this. Uh, There's this way that I've been doing it the last couple times I've done it. Um, and so please don't take this as gospel. <laughs> There's a hundred ways to do it, I'm sure. So this is just um, the way that I've kind of learned is best. So the first thing I start out with is... I like to add um, some support at the bottom. And the reason for that is because when you start cut these doors, this body's gonna flex. And I really don't want that, the uh, A pillar or you know anything to twist or break. So um, it's, it's simple. You can come in here later and just chop those out. It's super simple. And because if you see, so uh, let me back up just a little bit. So what I'm starting with is I've got this little, ooh, I don't think you can see that. Um, anyway, it's a little saw, and I use that to do my straight cuts, but you'll notice, I don't know if it's going to do it, but you can kind of see how that body flexes when I use it. Um, so that's what I'm talking about. You want to you wanna prevent that from happening, um, at least too much. So that's why I add that support. Um, so the back, what I did is I basically used the saw to go each side and then I came back and for the back side use the don't don't use the sharp edge of your blade use the dull edge or the edge that's not doesn't have anything on it and you're just gonna scribe it and, and it takes a while it's not a fast process so let me show you on this door so I'll just kind of come down here and Go like that so on this door what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut through an area about like this and that way I'll be able to take the saw stick the saw in there and and I'll probably I'll probably for this because it's curved it's really hard to get that saw to curve so I'll just do that by hand um, so let me show you on this side how I'm going to start I always take these um, the jams and everything are really hard to see when you're cutting. So best whoops whoa. Best way to do that is just uh, mark some take some black marker or something and just put it in the door jams or the lines and just kind of trace it off and that way you know that you've got something you're cutting correctly. So on this one, I am going to remove these um, little wing windows. Um, I left them in there just because I wanted some more support. And so what I'll do now is I'm going to start this door. I'm going to take my saw and just kind of follow this line down. This, now this can take a little bit too. You really want to be careful. It's very easy to get off the line on this. So it takes a little practice. Don't try to don't try to go in a sawing motion because it won't work. At least not what I have. At least not the blade that I have. I mean, there might be other other blades out there, but um, and I'm not sure exactly what brand this is. It just came in a kit that I had. So um, again, and then I'll take the back of the other blade, or you can even use this one if you want. It doesn't really matter. And just scribe these right here so that's that um i'll have another update for the the build here soon i just wanted to show you guys kind of how i did that so um thanks for watching and i'll see you on next video please subscribe and like and i'll see you later thank you